Welcome to Circles Fiesta. Today we have a bunch of things to talk about. First thing we want to talk about is a summer contest that we're organizing. We mentioned it a lot during the previous streams, but this time it's actually launched and we actually have all the details. Before starting it, we had a little countdown with some hints and it was really fun to see everybody trying to guess what it was. A lot of people actually guessed what it was. Most people knew that it was something related to photography and summer. Uh, a lot of people said that it was specifically the beach, which makes sense, but no, it's more like global about summer and winter if you're in the south. Um, but yeah, so most of you guessed that it was about photography and it was about summer. And some of you also guessed that it was about merch. A lot of you guessed that the merch was actually the prizes, but yeah, it's actually part of the contest itself. The idea is that you take pictures of your merch. So let me show you a, a quick video that will probably explain you better what this summer contest is about. So as you can see, there's a lot of prizes. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. We tried to pick the prizes so they make sense for any license because it's a cross-license contest. So we tried to have prizes that are not you know, tied to a specific license. And we thought ETA bags would be a very good idea. What is an ETA bag if you don't know? It's just a bag that you wear at conventions or lives where you can put a lot of merch of your favorite idol. Usually people will just focus on their favorite idol, but it's also fine to have like many, many different idols that you like. And the idea is that you're show showing everybody who's attending uh, your love for a specific idol. So we have multiple kinds of ETA bags. We have one that's more of an actual bag where you can put stuff inside and one that's simpler. You can still put stuff inside, but it's a little bit smaller and there's like actual pockets for your stuff and it's fully transparent. Then we have a mini one. This one is more for people who have or already have an ETA bag so they can have one on the side and it can just hold like two little figures. It's around the size of a Nendoroid figure. And then we have a light stick. Obviously, that's the ultimate uh, item that any idol lover should have. Uh, it can change to up to 10 different colors. It's also generic, it's not tied to any license, but it has 10 colors, so it should be fine for most lives. I'd say the large majority of lives, you should have enough colors. And then finally, it's more like a small accessories. If you have some acrylic keychains that you really like and you want to put them on display in your room, this is these are some like acrylic uh, stands where you can put your keychain inside. In addition to that, we also have uh, custom art made by our artists. So these are some examples of art. We have many, many artists Actually, even more than what you see here, because after we started the contest, some artists uh, offered to do more art. So there's going to be a lot of choice. And we're going to offer a, a very high quality print of a custom art made just for you. And either a keychain or a badge with that's the same art. And then we also have one winner per website. And for these, we have some prizes that uh, are from the licenses. So I know, I'm not sure all these prizes are going to be there. There might be more, there might be less, but it's gives you, it gives you an idea more or less of what we can give you. It's mostly going to be some, some little keychain or some rubber straps, and you can see per license. So this is Bang Dream, we have a bunch of things. For Idol Master, we also have some clear files and the uh, Shikishi. Uh, you can't see which one it is, you, it's a random one. <coughs> and then for Utapiri, we have a bunch of prizes, including one of that girl in the license, which currently is pretty rare, so that's really cool. And for Pokemon, we have many, many little Pokemons, and you can pick three of them. And again, some custom art, and this one is going to be more digital. So we have a bunch of prizes, so it's really exciting. Um, let us know in the chat on Twitch if you plan to join. Uh, I'm personally planning to join as well. I know I'm, the, I'm part of the organization of the event, but even people who are organizing can also join. Uh, what I plan to do, I, I have beaches around here, but it's been raining for a while. So I think I'm going to move more to like taking my figures to the park and like enjoying a summer afternoon at the park. And I'm going to try to have a story around that. I don't have a lot of figures, so I'll try to... Uh, I don't have a lot of figures and I'm not really good at taking photos, so I'm going to try to, to you know, um, get more of a story behind it to compensate for my like my lack of uh, merch. But yeah, I'll try to, to make something and we'll see how it goes.
if you have any question about the summer contest, uh, please also tell, tell us in the in the Twitch chat. We have a bunch of people who are part of who are organizing this who are also here and can help you. We're really excited for it. It's really the biggest thing we've ever organized. There's so many staff members who are helping with it. It's it's really cool. We have until July 31st to submit your entry, but because you can win prizes based on how many likes you can get, uh, we advise to post it as soon as possible because that you can get more likes. You have more time to get more likes. Yeah, so that was our uh, summer contest. I hope you're as excited as I am because I'm really happy that we're organizing that and I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. First thing we're going to, first website we're going to talk about after that is going to be Pandora Party and I think Violet is going to be uh, talking about it. Are you here? Yes, I am here. Okay, so first thing was the stuff pick, right? So I'll let you talk about it. Um, we recently held a contest, I would say recently, but it's not really that recent anymore, but um, we did one where we challenged everyone to talk about their favorite girl in uh, Bandori, and uh, just we really kind of wanted to spread positivity. So we announced previously the people that won um, the popular vote and the random pick we did on stream a couple weeks ago, but we still had to um, talk among the staff and figure out really which one we wanted to be the staff pick. And uh, we have this one by uh, Glasses Senpai who did over Hina Hikawa. Um, the staff, they really love this one. Um, I think a few of the staff already liked Hina, and the ones that didn't, they had commented that, uh, like, suddenly Hina was in their top three now, or that they just reaffirmed their love for her. It was just a really long, like, they really took the essay part of this to heart, and um, there was just, like, a lot of positive comments to seeing, like, seeing, like, all these comments on it was really crazy. So, yeah, it was a really good entry. We had uh, three or four judges for staff pick. I can't remember anymore. But yeah, this is the one that won. And they finally did get back to me over it. So congrats to Glasses and Pie for winning our staff pick. I also really like this entry. I really like that they, they talked about, you know, how they relate to her, how, you know, they're on the autism spectrum and that, you know, there's a side of them that kind of felt like that. A lot of people talked about it. It's a tough subject to talk about, but I think they approached it the right way. And, and I think that's why it touched so many people as well. Right, because that's, that's also the thing, like, especially with Hina, um, we see a lot of kind of discourse over her character and seeing like a girl like Hina getting positive representation. It was kind of like weird to me that it was like a lot of Hina posts instead of Chisato after like the Ian first came out and was like, ah, Chisato, I don't know about her. But it's, um, it's Hina that gets the love. There's a lot of Hina and uh, Misaki, I think, we had a lot of love for. And they did approach it really well because... That like was the worrying part. It's like, oh, you gotta be really positive. And I like that they did the whole personal story part of it as well. Yeah. Um, so next I, I wanted to show you the, the top three activities. So I don't know if you know, but you can actually see, if you if you click on the sidebar right here, you can see the uh, most popular of all time and most popular this week. And you can also order by creation if you just want to see the new ones. So I selected most popular this week. Just wanted to go through them with you. So the first one is the Bupin party. So Violet, you're gonna have to help me with that. I, I'm not sure I get this joke. Apparently, it's the joke of the week. What, what yeah, does um, Bupin party mean? We have somebody in our Discord that actually like they did that too. Like Bupin is well in Japanese. Atina says Burun when she's like excited, like you know. And they decided to make it on Ian a uh, Bupin. So she's oh. like, this is Bupin. So <laughs> since it's Bupin party, they just went ahead and made it a whole band of Hina saying boppin. I, I can totally see that. It reminds me of the boppin game, you know, from the 90s. I can totally see Hina playing boppin. It. Bop it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sure this band would be ridiculous if it had the chance to actually be a thing. I, I mean, Hina actually probably could do like a one-woman show. I'm not gonna lie. The next and one... I, oh, sorry. The stars needed to top to 100 a Rosalia event. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's because They're Rosalia is so popular. popular. Like, um, I think... Like, there's several people in our Discord group that were, like, doing JP. And then right after JP, they had the one on in. And then <laughs> people's hands are breaking. Uh, Ambi, one of our staff members, she recently teared on it. Um, and she's, like, last, like, two hours is, like, crazy ridiculous. Like, I don't, have the, I don't have the time or the patience to be able to do that. So props to everyone that can top 100 in an event. Um, or they save stars specifically to tier or... It's just kind of really crazy to me. Yeah, Rosalia is, is really, really popular. 
even on the website, you can see Yukina, I think, is always first, the most popular. I think it's really weird because like, it's mostly like, uh, mostly Yukina fans, and then it's followed by like Lisa, and then Rinko and Akko, I think, are kind of popular. Like, they're more popular than probably like the middle ground of for other bands, but it's like, they're still, they're, I don't know how to say it. Like, Akko and Rinko probably get less fans, but they still get just as, not, as much turnout as everyone else. The next one that I was showing right now is the the name train. If you want to talk about it as well. Um. So from what I understand, um, Z Heel, uh, who is a member in the actual Circles Discord, longtime supporter, uh, he tears all the time. Um, crazy tear guy. He does it on Sif. Now he's doing it on Bandalory. They did one for uh, the top 100, or I guess the first top 10. They put together a name train for Yurishi, who recently retired and had her birthday. Um, since this is considered the Lisa event, and it's, you know, don't leave me, Lisa, but Lisa already left. Or for most people, or not most people, for certain people, Lisa has actually left Roselia already for them. But they just wanted to thank Eureka for her time as Lisa so that we can move forward with the current Lisa who had been announced. It's really nice that the whole community, you know, got together and did all that. It's probably a lot of organization, a lot of people talking together to make sure that at the right time, everybody's in the right order with the right message. So it's, it's really impressive. It's really cool. Yeah, especially on Boundary because you can't really, uh, like, look at tiers without, like, you can look at, like, the first, like, four above you and the first four below you. So I think they've actually made, like, a tiering Discord. And so everyone that's, like, in the top 100 at any given time or battling for the top 100 at any given time are usually there, and that's where they try and organize everything. That was really cool. Um, yeah, so that's it for the top. I, I will let you, if you're interested in knowing what was trending this week, once again, you can check the sidebar and then you just select most popular this week and then you click search and then you're good to go. Uh, next, there's a, a lot of Andorian memes. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> a, a lot of memes, a lot of memes. And, um, and then I wanted to show you a new feature which I added, which doesn't really change anything regarding your experience with Android Party, but uh, it's an issue that we've had many times. So on Vendor Party, if you want, you're able to uh, delete your account. And if you delete your account, it will delete all your cards, it will delete all your event participations, everything that you've entered related to your account. And even though there's something that asks you to confirm, there's some people that think they're deleting something else and then they don't realize it, and then they end up deleting a lot of stuff. And unfortunately, we as staff are not able to recover that. Once you delete, it's deleted forever. So uh, I added a, some, uh, a small feature that, that will check um, and basically show you what will happen if you delete. So Here's an example. This is my test account which with a bunch of cards. It's really just testing. And now I've tried to delete. It will say confirm as usual. And when you click delete account, it will actually show you everything that will be deleted with it. So you can see here that all the cards that I added are going to be deleted. And if I have... So yeah, here, for example, I played some songs. They're going to be deleted as well. So it's going to show you the impact. So this way you can be like, oh, no, wait, that's not what I want to do and you can basically say cancel and you're good to go. So this is a small new feature, it's, it's not much, but I think it's important because I know it's it's really painful when you lose a lot of stuff, especially if you input all your event participation and then you can never see them again. You know, that's not cool. So hopefully this will help. Let me know if you have any feedback and any comment on, on the chat and yeah, hopefully hopefully this feature will help. Uh, yeah, that was it for Vendory Party. Thank you, Violet, for joining us and talking about all that. Um, Next, we're going to talk about Kuwaito Tomodachi, so I'm going to be the one talking about it. Uh, first thing I want to talk about, there's the Nozomi birthday giveaway that ended not too long ago, and we announced the staff pick. So last time, last stream, I, I showed you all the entries for the winners of the Nozomi giveaway, and this time I wanted to show you the staff picks. So the way staff picks work is that it's the staff members who will actually go through the activities, and instead of just ju judging on popularity, they will try to, you know, see for things like creativity, how much, you know, effort they put into it. So we're trying to, you know, to be fair with staff picks. So these are the two winners. The first one is a, a Nozomi cosplay. Sorry, Nozomi cosplayers with a lot of different cosplays. You can see there's a lot of dedication to that character. Beautiful cosplays, really, really well done. Very nice pictures. So yeah, that's why, that's why it won. And then for the first time, we actually have two staff picks that are uh, that have the same amount of points. So these two entries are, are actually first set staff picks together and we don't have a second one. So this is the other staff pick, it's a beautiful drawing of Nozomi, which is, once again, my favorite card ever, and I think it's the favorite card of a lot of people. It's so beautiful, and this drawing really, you know, it's really beautiful, it really looks like the card itself. It, it has, you know, a very soft feel to it, which really suits Nozomi really well, so I really love this drawing. 
so yeah, these are the two two winners. Congratulations to them. They're going to get a prize as usual. And then uh, next, I wanted to mention real quick that we have some birthday giveaways that are coming soon. So as usual, there's going to be some prizes that are made by the community and some prizes that are official prizes. So the next one that's coming up is uh, Yohane on July 13th. And if you want, there's also, it's already happening, we have a what's your favorite Yohane card uh, running right now. So you can vote for her favorite card. Uh, let me post that in the chat if you want to join that. And then after that, the next birthday that we're going to have a giveaway for, and also a card contest, is Nico. It's going to be on July 22nd. So look forward to it. If you're a Nico fan, you can even start working on your entry right now. Start telling us what you love about Nico. Take pictures, make a cake, whatever you want. And we're going to have a giveaway for these two. Uh, yeah, so that's it for Scarlet Tomodachi. We don't have a lot to talk about. We do... We do we did work on the V2 and there is some progress, but at the moment there's nothing really visual that I can show you. But if you're wondering, yes, we are still working on it and there is some progress and we still plan to launch it as soon as possible. So yeah, I look forward to this as well. And I guess that's it for Swell Tomonachi. Next is going to be Cinderella Producers. So that's going to be Elysia who's going to talk about it. Are you here? Hey. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here to go. Yeah. As you notice, in Cinderella Producers, we have reactivated the activity section of Cinderella Producers in line with the summer contest. So, if you want to post your gotcha lock or you want to talk about stuff about regarding Starlight Day, you can now do so as well. However, we will start implementing a new set of sort of rules for activities. Simply because the last time activities was enabled, there was a lot of drama going on around here. People posting all sorts of stuff and it was really a, a mess to moderate. So it's the first iteration of activities was removed. Now that the summer contest is in full swing, then we decided to re-add the activity. So yeah, we ended up making a new set of moves just for this so that in order to prevent more drama from ha any more drama from happening in the future. So we just have seven rules and guidelines. Hopefully that is now showing the so yeah. First off, um <laughs> sorry if I have to be blunt there, but yeah, so I'm gonna ask. Like rolling is fine, but if you start going threat and threat and unnecessary tantrums, you might run into problems. So you get respect to get respect, and I think that's the most important thing. Um we all like different idols, sometimes we hate we don't like certain idols, but at the end of the day we're still producers. So it would be best if we do our best. To respect each other, respect it, but certain idols and whatnot. As long as we don't do stuff like harassment or whatever, and then I guess we'll be fine with it. Second, of course, no spamming or flooding, uh, which refers to no, don't just spam the same stuff over and over again. Related to that, if you're gonna advertise some stuff, you uh, have to post from us either through activities or even better through the Discord. And related to rule one, any form of discriminatory or hate speech is not allowed. If you're gonna be a racist or gonna be sexist or whatever, um, you will not, you will be banned or muted or whatever. Uh, related to this, any discussion of politics, gender, religion, or any sensitive topic is prohibited. We would like to keep this um, site to be focused more on idols and idol matter in general. So as much as possible, keep those things out, out of uh, uh, keep those things out of the door, out of the house, rather. Um, Rule. NSFW stuff is not allowed for the time being. Um, we're supposed to have a filter for NSFW related content, but uh, since in this iteration of activities is not yet added, so for the time being, we're not we're not gonna allow any NSFW related work here. Um, NSFW here refers to fully nude artwork, and if the idol in question is actually naked, or artwork that fully reveal either female dress or genitalia. Those things are not allowed. Number six, which is related to five, and probably one of the more one of the one of the rules that is really important. No lolly or sort of pornography. Uh, a lot of the some of the idols in Cinderella Girls are below the age of fifteen. Some of them are as young as nine. So those are those kind of so yeah. Any pornography of those said idols will be prohibited. It's prohibited and will will immediately take action. It's not possibly a first term of that. Lastly, if there are any concerns, 
don't have to take your photo. The staff is really nice here. You don't fight, of course. And if you really want to ask questions, so just go to our Discord channel, um, give us feedback and whatnot. Um, we'll have a three strike rule for rule breakers. First is just a written warning, followed by a temporary ban. And if you do the same thing thrice or break different rules three times, you'll be permanently banned. So, yeah. Hopefully that's enough of a deterrent for you guys to not do anything stupid there. We don't want any more drama to, be, to, be, to happen in the Vedic Show anymore. So, hope you guys um, enjoy posting and activities and have fun. But and speaking of activities and moderation, we're still looking for moderators to help maintain the Vedic Show. Um, specifically, we're looking for community moderators, um, Twitter staff that have posted news about not only Starlink states, but the world of Cinderella girls in general, and of course, database managers who could update the Cinderella flows web uh, cards and event pages. Um, right now, it's just me and like, I don't know, three or four, three or four people were active in Cinderella Pro at the moment, and, and but it's most of the time just me doing Twitter and posting some database stuff and whatnot. So, and they're always tied. We, all, we could always need more hands, and if you really want to become part of the moderation staff or just want to do your part and help make Cinderella Pro go even better, just go to the link post in the, in the recruitment post in activities or you can just join the Discord channel and talk to us about it. I think that's, I think that's pretty much it for the end of Cinderella Pro. So, so, so um, before I move on to the next website, there's actually two questions that have been asked, and both of them ha are about Cinderella producers, so might as well do them now. Uh, the first question was, are we going to merge every Idolmaster series when the site name is Cinderella Producers? And then the other one is, is there any chance that there will be a website for million live theaters? So I think both of them you can answer together. Yeah. Um, the plan, from what I know, from what I understand, the plan is to um, have a single website for all the I, for all the IMAX franchises, but it's Cinderella Girls, Million Live, or or Shiny Colors, or even better, or Height M. Um, we will have specific parts of a website dedicated of um, Cintro dedicated to each sub franchise. For example, there's one sub site for million for CG, one sub site site for Million Live Saturday, and so on and so forth. Related to that, we may actually need to do a main thing. But as it stands, Cinderella producers would end up becoming too inaccurate. So we haven't thought of the name yet, but if you have suggestions on how to name this new new Cinderella uh, Idol Master Web card tracking site, then it would be it would be most great. We would be most grateful to hear you out. Yeah. So basically, we're, we're not really sure yet about the na new name. Um, but what we're sure about is that Minion Life is going to be in the website for sure. So yeah, look forward to it, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's it for our Cinderella producers. Thank you so much, Alicia, for uh, talking to us about all that. Thank you. So next one I wanted to talk to you about is a website that is... Actually, not a lot of people know about it, but we do have a Pokemon website. We have a website about Pokemon Go called Stardust Run. So if you're a Pokemon Go player, you can join. It's awesome. Uh, it's very similar to all of our website. It has activities, it has cards tracker, except instead of being cards, it's Pokemon. And the reason why I wanted to talk to you about this website today is because we, I recently added a uh, um, all the new Pokemon. So before that, we didn't have the new generation of Pokemon, so I recently just added them. So you can see here, all the new Pokemons are here. They weren't here for a while, and that's because we don't have any staff team for the site, so we weren't able to take care of that. But, uh, you know, to celebrate that we're finally having this new summer contest and this big thing. I wanted to make sure that, that Stardust Run was at its best that it could be, so I added a new Pokemon. For each Pokemon, if you're not too familiar with Stardust Run, you can actually click to add them to your collection. It's very similar to all of our websites. And then you can also click the information button right here, and you can get more details. So you can see the hit points, max CP and everything like that, even the how, how long you have to walk to get an egg, to get that Pokemon from an egg. And then you can also, you know, do more things than just adding your Pokemon to your, to say, like, I have them. You can also say, I've seen that Pokemon, Pokemon, I've caught it, but you don't need to actually have it in your collection. So there's a notion of, you know, what you actually have right now 
and your Pokédex. So that's really cool. You can also say how many candies you have. And then uh, there's more information. There's also the evolutions right here. So you can see uh, the chain of evolution and you can see how many candies you need to evolve. And then finally, there's the attacks. So for each Pokemon, you can see all the attacks of that Pokemon, energy requirement, everything you need is in there. So yeah, it's really cool. Uh, if you play Pokemon Go, join our website. Uh, we still don't really have a staff team. So if you're interested in joining the staff team, uh, same link that I shared above. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. Stardust Run is also part of the summer contest. So if you have some Pokemon merch, now is the time to, to show them to the rest of the world. Uh, yeah, so that's it for Stardust Run. Next, we're going to talk about Magilove. And I'm going to show the first screenshot that we have right here. There's been a lot of development done for Magilove by Fuzzy. So Fuzzy, I guess I'm going to let you talk about it. Yeah, so I've, I've been doing a lot of the development of the Magilove collection. Um, and so like we're now actually at a point where we can show some screenshots of the, uh, some of the pages and how they look. It's still sort of very tentative screenshots because I'm... I'm a back-end developer, I'm not very good at front-end stuff, so this is just me mocking, me making things look as good as I can, but it's definitely not my specialty. Um, but right now this first screenshot is of what the photo page will look like, um, and then the, um, the second screenshot, the next one, is um, just sort of more of the same page because it's, it's a very long page because we have all the different images, including the transparents. Um, we're also going to have the posters in the final version, but I don't think I put them on this version yet. Um, and so, but we'll have all that information, all the stats at various levels. Um, and then, so next, we have a preview of what an account looks like on the site. Um, and so there are tabs for the uh, photos for, and songs, and there's also going to be a tab for events you participated in um, in the final version. And so again, this is just sort of a tentative look, like it's not final at all. Um, but you can see all the little icons of the cards you have. It's, um, and then the, the last screenshot we have is of what a photo that you've collected looks like in the account. Um, and it sort of, it has a whole bunch of things that you can keep track of there, um, including like, the level, the rank, um, how, how many of the moments you've unlocked so far, and like what level you've like, leader skill, the sub skill, and the normal skill, all that, so you can keep track of all of that, um, and it will calculate the, um, the, like, the actual stats based off of the moments and level, as well as you can add any crowns you've added to it, if you have crowns on your card, um, so keep track of all of that, and part of the reason that we're just trying to keep all of that kept track of is that I'm also working on a built-in team builder for the site, um, and that will be based off of the cards you have in your account, as well as um, the play profiles you add for a played song, um, and like, um, like an event type and things like that to calculate the best team. Because right now we have um, some existing Excel team builders that are made by people in the community, um, and so but they're kind of hard to use. And like, um, they're they're really great to have, and they're kind of hard to use just because they're in Excel. Um, and so me and like some other people who make the Excel team builders are sort of working on the map for that, and hopefully soon I'll have like a preview of that to show, but not yet. Um, and finally, I can say that we have, we currently have 382 pre-registered members, which is a lot, and that's very exciting. So, um, and let's see, look. oh yeah, so there's also, just reminded everyone that the event is starting tomorrow, um, like in just over 24 hours, um, well, it's his birthday coming up, it's 13th, so. Um, and I think that's all for Magilove. Uh, just um, a small reminder, you can, uh, you can pre-register to Magilove. Uh, as she just said, we have a lot of people who pre-register, so that's really cool. If you're not pre-registered yet, I just shared the link in the chat. To pre-register, we don't need a lot of information. We just need your username, email address, and password. So it's really a few seconds, and then you'll be able to know, you know when Magilove starts, and you'll be able to be one of the first users. And we'll probably even have something like a badge for, you know, beta tester or whatever, something like that for people who pre-registered before. So yeah, you should pre-register if you're, if you're interested in joining. Uh, thank you so much, Fuzzy, for talking to us about Magilove. Um, I guess that's the end of the stream. We don't really have anything else that we needed to talk about. As usual, if you have any question, you can use our question form and we will answer them next week. Uh, and if you have any question about our summer contests, you can also ask them under the comment section of each, um, of each, sorry. Um, post because on each website has their own post, so you can post questions there. 
We've also shared the, the summer details, summer contest details on Reddit, so you can also talk about it there. Uh, yeah, that's it. We're really excited for, for the summer contest. As you can see this week, we had a lot of things to talk about. It was really cool. And uh, I guess see you next week. As usual, don't forget that this event is happening uh, every week, same time. So it's going to be it's going to be next either Monday or Tuesday based on where you are in the world. And uh, yeah, join us again. Uh, uh, sorry. Join us again again next time. See you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.